GT Holidays, South India's number one travel brand. Experience the next level of imaging with Vivo X100 series. Pre-book now. Hello and welcome to Galata Plus. In this video review episode, we're going to be talking about Siddharth Anand's Fighter. The film takes a generic action template and makes it immensely watchable. After War and Pathan and now Fighter, I think it's safe to say Siddharth Anand has found his groove. He takes simple generic action templates. He garnishes them with high wattage stars and actors, plot twists that are just clever enough without being totally mind-blowing and solid action set pieces. But above all, he retains the over-the-topness of the 1980s masala sensibility and updates it with restraint. Take the romance in Fighter between Hrithik Roshan and Deepika Padukone as Shamsher and Meenal. You get all the staples of this track, the meet-cute, the deepening of the relationship, the sorrowful parting before the happy reunion, you get it all. But nothing is overdone and everything is one of a piece with the film's milieu. Instead of a duet, we get a club song. The hero and the heroine, they are still up front and center, but the rest of the team is also in there. So the romance seems to be happening along with and not apart from everything else. Watts and all, I enjoyed Fighter thoroughly. It takes a few elements from Top Gun, like the cocky super pilot and the pretty well done aerial combats and grounds these in the story of India and Pakistan playing dangerous war games. Like many good masala movies, Fighter takes care to differentiate between devout patriotic Muslims and rogue agents who practice terrorism in the name of Islam. The weakest part of the narrative is the villain, played by Rishabh Sawney. In order to make him menacing, he is given a red eye, but his hair makes him look like a shampoo commercial model. To accept this man as the kind of jihadi that India has never seen is to take the name of another Tom Cruise movie Mission Impossible. He gets no good lines and he's as generic as a generic villain can get. Think of how John Abraham's character was written in Pathan as a child abandoned by Mother India and you'll see the difference. The only other sore point is the bit in the climax fight. The stunt work is excellent and beautifully edited, but there's a stretch where Shamshed gets into hand combat mode with the red-eyed shampoo model and grunts out bits of jingoism after each punch. Now, this might not have seemed odd in the Gadar universe because those films are pitched exactly in this meter, but it feels out of place in Fighter because this is, in comparison, quite restrained. This is the kind of movie that makes you wait for the hero and the heroine to kiss. Shamshir and Meenal try to kiss and they are interrupted. Later, they try to kiss and again, they are interrupted. And this becomes a little running joke, a tiny running joke. And when the kiss finally happens, it feels like passion as well as a punchline to that running joke. Like in that club song, the hero and heroine may be the ones occupying center stage, but whether it's in the fun moments or the dramatic moments or the action, the whole team pitches in. The bonding is very believable. Even Karan Singh Grover and Akshay Oberoi get their share of screen time just enough to make us remember them. Like any self-respecting team movie, the team is made of people from all over. There's a Malayali, there's a Sikh, there's a Muslim, and there's a woman, as the line goes, Asman mein sab equal hain. Meenal gets a nice little arc with her parents that gets a solid emotional payoff when Shamshir runs into them accidentally. Now, this could all be eye-rolling stuff, but it ends up proof that anything works when staged and played with conviction. Take the moving scene later with Meenal and her parents. Is it generic? Yes. Is it effective? Again, yes, the handheld camera stays close and we see these actors emoting and their emotions spill over to us. Deepika is very good and of course very stunning, but one could argue that the real relationship in Fighter is the one between Shamsher and his commanding officer Rakesh, played by Anil Kapoor. Let me take a detour here to say how much I have come to enjoy Anil in his late phase. He was always the best of the 1980s bunch of actors. He threw so much into every scene, every line, like Hrithik in a way that sometimes you just wanted him to relax a little and now he does just that and he's wonderful to watch. Early on, he gets a superbly worded line when he talks to his pilots about the importance of practice. He delivers this like a stern professor and Shamsher is the unruly student. The undercurrent of tension between Rakesh and Shamsher drives the film and at the end when Rakesh tells his superior officer Rule se zyada zaruri jeet hai sir. You don't see a man realizing he was wrong. You see a man who knows now 
what is right. Despite being against the hero, the character is never allowed to fall. He always retains his dignity. And towards the end, especially, he gets scenes that bring the house down. But the film, of course, is a Hrithik Roshan show, sometimes quite literally. In an early scene, as Shamshed takes a shower, his sculpted body parts are intercut with a technical marvel of an aircraft. It's hard to say if Hrithik is being compared to the sleek flying machine or vice versa. When he walks in slow-mo, the runway appears to be his own personal catwalk ramp. He plays the harmonica, he uses his charm to get his way. This is something the film winks at. But under all this fan service, there is a genuine character built through small sharp incidents like the one where Shamshed helps a panicked pilot on her first solo flight. There is some trauma from the past and I would have liked more of it but that kind of drama is too heavy for a star vehicle. Instead, we get shorter dramatic scenes and Hrithik aces each one of them. Watch Shamshed embrace his oldest friend and you really feel the two actors have known one another since childhood. Watch Shamshir recite a patriotic poem and you sense his patriotism because he really gets lost in the emotion. You see it in his eyes when his friends make a lot of noise and he snaps out of that zone. My favorite scene of Shamshir is when Meenal asks him why he does not fight back against what she considers unjustified punishment. He just says, fighter hoon, jang karta hoon, jhagde nahi. What an immense line and how spectacularly it highlights this man's character. Shamshed gets into wars, not petty fights. The full-fledged masala movie may be a relic of the past. Was Khaki the last great one? But I must say I'm enjoying this Hollywoodized version of the masala movie. It's slick enough not to seem old-fashioned and yet they see enough to make you whistle and cheer for scenes and lines. And they make a heck of a star vehicle too. And that's it about Fighter. If you like this video review, do subscribe to Galata Plus and see you soon at the movies. GT Holidays, South India's number one travel brand. Experience the next level of imaging with Vivo X100 series. Pre-book now. Mm -hmm.